Hello, Tab Nation. It's Tom, and today we're doing another macro win video. It's a macro quarter. I've done a few videos on this, so definitely check it out if you're interested in it. You know, definitely check the link below. And uh, yeah, this is actually as I'm recording this video. I'm not sure if it's going to come out before or after, but July 4th, 2023. This will be released on Steam, but it is already uh, available on the website, so you can check it out. But I'm definitely excited for that because that's definitely going to bring it to a whole new community of people, uh, especially if you're going to be using this for gaming, which I can definitely see a lot of people doing it with. So, yeah, that would be nice to build a community in a different sense uh, than, you know, the work environment will bring more perspective, I guess you could say. So, yeah, uh, today we're actually going to be doing something that a lot of people have asked me when it comes to just coding in general, not ne necessarily always auto hotkeys, but pretty much any language is... You know, I want to write this in auto hotkeys, but I also want Python in my script. You know, that's kind of a hard subject, and, you know, there's different ways you can do it. Uh, but MicroWin's probably by far the easiest, best way I've found so far to do it. Like I said, there's a bunch of ways. I mean, with auto hotkeys, you could always just have an auto hotkey script, but then also have a Python script. And then your auto hotkey can just like trigger the Python. Uh, but, you know, and then you get to the whole, you know, how do you share variables, all that kind of stuff. You know, it really depends what you're doing. And it's just a hard question to answer. So hopefully this will help people uh, make it a little bit more simple. You know, it can still have a level of complexity. Um, but if you're not trying to share variables, you just need, you know, hey, I wrote this in Python for whatever reason. But I also wanted to write in auto hotkeys for whatever reason. Great, this is a great video for you. So let's go ahead and we're gonna jump into MicroWin here. So I already got it loaded up and we're gonna go ahead, uh, let's just start with a clean slate. You know, let's go ahead and delete this one. Clean slate, why not? Get that logo there. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna click the little plus symbol that is, uh, I always forget that I'm reversed here, this little guy behind my shoulder. So we're gonna click that. We're going to get this nice little window here, and this is where we build everything. So let's go ahead. Let's make it simple with a trigger. If you watch my auto hotkey videos, you know I use hotkeys for everything pretty much. And it's kind of the point, right? Uh, so we're going to click the little plus symbol. It's already highlighted, and it's going to gray out. So now on our, it says, that, as you see right here, it says it's listening. It means it's listening to our keyboard for a press. So I'm going to press F1. Automatically uh, detects that I pushed it. So it's going to sit here, make sure I push the right button. I didn't, you know, hit the wrong thing. So it's F1. The direction means F1 down means as soon as I push it versus me pushing it and then triggering when I release, that would be up. We only want it to trigger once, so that's good. And we're going to go ahead and push OK. And there is our trigger. Easy, right? Now, uh, conditions, that's up to you. Uh, conditions would be basically like, you know, Yes, I did push F1, but if I'm not in Chrome, don't actually perform the actions. You know, that way you're not accidentally triggering something that's going to start messing with something if you're, you know, like in your email and suddenly it's like, oh no, you, I just sent gibberish to your entire contacts list or something. We don't want that to happen, so conditions are good as kind of like a safety feature, so you're not accidentally... Uh, you know, you don't realize you actually have the actual window that you're using this in. Target it, even though it's up there. Maybe it's not targeted because you clicked on your desktop. It's just a safety thing. So it's always good to put those in here. But for the sake of the video, we're not going to touch on those. I've done other videos that show that kind of stuff. So definitely check those out with MacroWin. Just search my channel. Uh, actions. That's our thing What we're really talking about today is we're going to go ahead, go in here. Now, as you see right here, you do have auto hotkeys as an option uh this is just basically going to run your auto hockey script but i you know i explained at the beginning you can do that just by writing a auto hockey in a python script and then have it run each script uh, from itself we kind of want to keep all this in house inside the program we, we don't want scripts somewhere on our computer let's just keep it simple let's keep everything right here so instead of using the auto hotkeys we're actually going to be jumping down uh, to, where is it? Program slash script. This is obviously alphabetized, so easy to find. We're going to click that. We're going to click add. And right here, uh, it's starting off with uh, the language down here is batch. 
Uh, as you do the drop down, there is a decent amount of options. Let me move that up so you can see a little better. So you got Batch, PowerShell, Auto Hockey, C, C++, C Sharp, JavaScript, Python, VBS. Good amount of choices. We're going to go ahead and start with Auto Hockey. And it gives an example. Obviously, Hello World is your intro. It's in version 1 code. Uh, you can change it right here to version 2. Uh, you know, whatever you want. Uh, but we're going to keep it here as version 1. Just keep it simple. It doesn't really matter for the video's sake. Push OK. There we go. Now I want to do some Python. So let's go. We're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to come here. Go to Programming Scripts. Add. Same thing here. But instead, we're going to change this to Python. We got Hello World here. Uh, it's doing a print. That's obviously not going to work for us right here just because we don't have a console here for it to input that data. Um, so I have, from another video, uh, some code I've been working on. Uh, here's some Python right here. This is uh, GUI, which is going to be, uh, if it hasn't been released yet, check that out. It's really cool. How to make a GUI in Python. And we're just going to paste that in here. Um, so here's this. You know, we got this. Uh, you know, this is from VS Code, so I know it works. I've tested it. Um, obviously, you, you should probably test your codes in an IDE before you put it in here because... You know, this is just for pasting your code, really. As you see, there's no, like, as, as of now, maybe I'll recommend it to them. Uh, no syntax highlighting, uh, no, uh, you know, output uh, with what went wrong. It's not really built for that. So, yeah, definitely uh, use VS Code, no Pat++, you know, Vim, whatever you use, you know, do that. So there's our code. We're going to go ahead and push OK. Uh, obviously, there's some other stuff down here, you know, assign output variable, uh, wait for exit, uh, just keep everything kind of the default unless you really need it, in which case you'll know you need it. All right, there we go. Uh, macro name, uh, we're just going to call this uh, multi-code description. HK and Python working together as one script macro. Terrible, terrible description, but yeah, we're good. All right, now we're going to go ahead, we're going to push save, and we're good. It's right here, you know, obviously, uh, you know, has the name, quick description, has our conditions, which you got to go back in to see, but at least gives you an idea of what, there's one trigger, two actions. Uh, so yeah, we're going to press F1 on our keyboard. Oops. Well, I'm glad that happened, actually. Um, so there we go. Yeah, we have to wait for it to load and uh, actually... Uh, you can click on here, and if you're having issues, just say execute macro. Um, but as you see, um, yeah, auto hockey uh, showed up. There's our message box, hello world. Close that, and over here, you can't really see it. Oops, I accidentally grabbed the wrong part. Uh, here's our Python GUI. You know, it's just a simple username, password, uh, you know, whatever, login, invalid login. Because obviously, I didn't type anything. Um, so, yeah. That is our macro. So if you guys have any questions about this, definitely let me know in the comments below. And uh, if you guys like this video, definitely uh, let me know. I will do more videos on this. If you guys have ideas on specifically what you want to see, I've done uh, you know, just general usage, how to use auto hotkeys in this, uh, obviously this one, multi-language, and some gaming videos that are... Uh, not sure how, when, the order I'm releasing these videos as I'm recording a bunch at once. Definitely hit the subscribe button because I throw out one, two videos every week doing with automation, uh, with coding usually, uh, usually in auto hotkeys, but I do branch out. I like to learn new stuff. I hope you guys like to learn new stuff too. And I'll see you all on the next one.